Hey kids, we're so excited that you're joining us here today. Today we're going to be learning about King Josiah. So we're going to start off with some worship songs and then we're going to do a Bible story and we're going to learn about him. And then later we're going to do a craft all together. So put on your singing voices and let's do some worship songs together. Destiny. 
Great singing, good job everybody. So now it's time for our story. And last week we learned about King David. He was a king from when he was a young man. But this week we're gonna learn about a king who became king when he was a very young person. Only just a little bit older than you. So I want you to have a listen and see if you can tell me at the end two things. One, what's his name? And two, how old was he? I'll see you soon, enjoy the story. God's Masterpiece, Josiah. This is Josiah. Hey Josiah became king of Israel when he was only eight years old. Yep. Now the country of Israel had a very long line of kings who did many bad things, including Josiah's father and grandfather. These kings did not follow after God and they ignored his commandments and his law. But when Josiah became king, he did what God wanted him to and followed the example of King David. Yeah! 18 years after Josiah became king, he sent one of his court secretary, Shaphan, to God's temple. Thank you. Many of the kings before Josiah did not take good care of God's house, so it was in need of repair. Hmm. Huh? While they're in the temple, Hilkiah, the high priest, said to Shaphan, Hey! I have found the book of the law in the Lord's temple. So Shaphan took the scroll back to King Josiah and read it to him. <laughs> when Josiah heard what was in the book, he was greatly upset. Oh, no! Because the people of Israel were not doing the things that God asked him to do, and Josiah knew that God must be angry with Israel for not obeying his commandments. Josiah gathered together all the people of Israel to the temple and read the entire book of the covenant to them. That very day, Josiah and all the people promised that they would obey all of what God commanded with all their hearts and souls. Josiah went on to help Israel become a people fully committed to God. He tore down all the other temples and the idols that they had set up. He got rid of all the people who were doing bad things all throughout Israel. And he did all that was commanded in God's book. Never before had there been a king like Josiah 
who turned to the Lord with all his heart and soul and strength, obeying all the laws of Moses. And there has never been a king like him since. That was a great story, wasn't it? It was about King... What was his name? King, tell me. That's right, King Josiah. And he became a king when he was only... How old was he? He was only eight years old. That's very young to be a king. And you know what? I'll tell you something very special. My husband and I, we named our oldest son Josiah because we wanted him to follow the example of King Josiah. We wanted him to be a boy that grew up to know God and to love God and to pray and to read his word. And I hope you're encouraged this week to listen to God's word, to read it, or get mum and dad to read it to you, or to watch Bible stories online. And we've got a special colouring picture for you today. Here's a picture of King Josiah. He was very upset when he discovered that they hadn't been following God's word. But then they started to listen and obey. And that was awesome. As well as that, we've got a special book that you can make about King Josiah. Here's mine, it's already coloured in. And it's all about King Josiah becoming a king at eight and how they found the book of the law and he was very sad but then he was happy because at the end they followed the book of the law. That means they followed the Bible, they listened and learned about it. So you can get your mum and dad or someone big to print out two sheets for you. Two sheets for you. These two and this one's got a picture of King Josiah that is happy and sad because he was both happy and sad. And then the other seven make up this little book that you can colour it all in, then get mum or dad to cut the pitch, the squares out and then staple it all together. Hope you have fun doing that. I'll see you again next week. But before I go, this coming Friday, it's Good Friday and we've got a special service online that's got some kids from our church that you might know. So get mum and dad to help you watch it at nine o'clock on Friday for Good Friday. And then I'll see you again next Sunday with another Bible story. Bye. We hope you had a lot of fun joining us today and doing your coloring of King Josiah. We really, really hope that we're gonna see you on Friday for Good Friday and then on Sunday. We're gonna do our goodbye song now.